Yes. Let's continue this discussion of ours, dear viewers. In our first episode of Waking Moments, we talked about the importance of looking back to see where mistakes were made. Mm. to see where misperceptions ruled. Uh, we told you that everything you know is essentially an illusion. Uh, everything you think you know, mm, everything that you believe <clears throat> is an mm, accommodation. Um, in the sense that you take in through your uh, perceptual apparatus what you believe to be going on around you. Uh, you interpret it through these filters that we call beliefs. And, <clears throat> in a sense, you send it back out into your personal reality field. Uh, so, let's put it uh, in this way. Mm, your brain, your identity <clears throat> acts as a a filter, a modulator, a governor, a tuner, and it helps you to put this information you're getting from your objective world, from the universe, what we call all that is in the books. It helps you to make sense of it and put facts, uh, images, particular emotions in their place so that it makes sense to you personally. And then you project it out onto the screen and identify that as, oh, that's my objective reality. That's the way it is for most of you. Now, uh, for those of you awakening at this time, uh, it's a different matter, isn't it? You realize that it's a projection. Mm, and so you take care mm, to Mm. Uh, cultivate uh, a truthful perspective. You wake up in this moment of projection and you say to yourself, perhaps, am I regurgitating the party line of uh, political figures, government figures, authority figures of all types, mm. uh, or am I creating my reality with my higher self, you might say, with my higher centers of awareness, in which case I am being authentic, I am being truthful, um, I am informing my personal reality uh, with truth. Mm. Mm. The uncommon trance, we call this. Uh, the 
the uncommon trance is the state of consciousness uh, of an awakening person, uh, a person not kidding themselves, a person not regurgitating the party line, a person in touch with their divine self, <clears throat> uh, and allowing that aspect of the identity to drive uh, this reality creation project that you call uh, your life, uh, the world, and so on. So in our first episode we talked about the value of recapitulating and going back to see where you may have been fooled into believing uh, certain facts about your reality, about your life, about your history, you see? Recapitulation. Uh, you see where mistakes are made. You see what's going on here. You see how you may have been deluded. Mm, it's repugnant to the soul to discover that. And so the awakening uh, is unpleasant for most of you, at least in the beginning. admit to yourself that you've been fooled, that you are not wise, that you are perhaps just beginning this journey, mm. the awakening. Now, uh, let me talk a bit about uh, the tenor of the times, the zeitgeist, as you say. What's really going on here, particularly in this collective in the U.S., uh, the tenor of the times in this moment is mm, fear, anxiety, uh, countered by a sense of righteous indignation. Mm. Uh, you are on the cusp mm, of a mass awakening here. Uh, it's going to be fueled by, um, ironically enough, images, uh, sounds from your televisions, uh, from your cell phones as you watch what's going on in the world, what's going on in politics, uh, what's going on in your institutions, mm. social, political, religious, you say. Mm. Uh, for that reason, uh, because it is difficult in the beginning for uh, awakening humans, I advise you to be kind to those of you who are experiencing negative feedback. Uh, as you awaken, you incur the wrath of people who want who need to remain asleep. Um, so there will be that resistance. Uh, and it may create anger. Mm. My suggestion is that you practice loving understanding and courage uh, with these people who are just mm, beginning the process, as we say, who are only now becoming engaged 
in their primary purpose for being on the planet at this time to participate in this uh, awakening of humanity. So be kind, um, be humble, and be strong. Mm, these states are not mutually exclusive. Uh, as I told you on many occasions, you uh, are capable of being powerful and humble simultaneously. Mm, powerful because you're waking up and <clears throat> doing things differently in your world for the highest good, uh, the visionary leaders, yet humble because you are confronted with your issues. You are not in denial, you're not intellectualizing your issues. Uh, you're learning your lessons. Mm. These metaphors, I hope, will help you navigate mm, uh, this awakening environment that you find yourself in, that we call the new consciousness. I think that will be all for now, and I'll uh, bid you adieu and ask that you view our next episode that we will create around next Wednesday or thereabouts, you see. Thank you very much. <laughs>